Hello and welcome to the channel. Glad to have you in here today. I'm going to be referring to the app and I'll refer to her going forward as Miss A, so not to trigger your devices. So there was a capability that was offered through the Echo Speaks app. Uh, most of you relied on this capability to be able to switch Miss A guard on when all of your members left home and then switch Miss Guard back off when any one member returned. So some of you have asked, is there a workaround for this capability within the new SmartThings app? And I'm happy to tell you that there is, and we'll cover that coming up next. So as I mentioned, I do have a workaround for you. So when writing Miss A routines, you have the capability to arm the Miss A guard whenever people leave. So you can use that within a routine. Basically what I'm doing here is I'm creating a virtual switch within the new SmartThings app. And based on the status of that switch, that's telegraphed over to the Miss A app. And then you can write a routine based on the status of that switch to trigger Miss A guard on when everyone leaves. When one person comes back home, what I've done is I've written a routine that acknowledges the fact that someone has returned. Then I just have Miss A to basically say I'm back so that the devices can be triggered off. So let's go ahead and get right into the routine. Okay, as we uh, get started here, I first wanna point your attention to a couple videos that I created that may be of interest to you. This first one here, where uh, we talk about Miss A guard setup and testing. I show you the steps for getting everything set up so that you can detect things like uh, glass breakage and also any kind of smoke detectors that may go off. And then I test the effectiveness of Miss A. So that's a good one for you to watch. If you haven't seen that yet, I wanna show you how to obtain the device handler that you're gonna need that I use in this video. And that particular device handler is in this video here, echo announcements triggered by smart things using a simulated Miss A switch. Uh, so let's go over to that uh, device list here. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna jump to my device handlers. You see here at the top of the screen. Here is that simulated a switch. Let's click on that. So here's the code that you will copy from the GitHub site and then paste within uh, the, the uh, device handlers so that you can create this new device handler. Once you've created the device handler, uh, it will show up in the list of devices. So let's go down to the switch that I already created in here, which is the Echo Guard switch. I'm gonna go into that and I'm gonna hit edit. So when you set this up, I called this Echo Guard switch. You could label can be the same. This is what shows up within your app, whatever you put in the label name. There's nothing needed in the Zigbee ID. This network ID can be any unique name. It doesn't have to, it can be whatever you wanna make it. I call it an Echo Switch 2. Uh, the type, again, is simulated Miss A switch, which after you set that up in your device handlers, this should show up probably in the bottom of the list uh, or pretty close to the bottom. So that's where it is version is published uh, then you just select your own home hub and you can assign the group once you're in the app so let's go ahead and update this and uh, we'll go back to my device list <clears throat> and again here you see it uh, in the device list right here so once you have that set up then let's go over to the app and then I'll show you how to get the automation set up Okay, here we are into the new app. And if I scroll down in my smart home monitor group, you'll see the Echo Guard switch there and it's open right now. What we're gonna do is go into automations and you go up to the hamburger menu in the upper left-hand corner, click on that and click on automations in the list. And I'm using this Echo Guard switch in my goodbye automation. And if I click on that, uh, you'll see that I have as the first statement uh, where I detect the member phones. And I say where no one is at Bud's home. That's one of the first criteria. Uh, if that is true, there's no one at home. Then I want to change my security mode to armed away. 
and I want to run a scene called the goodbye scene. So you don't necessarily need this set up this way. You can simply set up your routine that says if all your family devices are away, then go ahead and turn that echo switch on. Uh, so <clears throat> I have an extra step in here. It's just the way I have it set up. So we're going to back out of here and we're going to go into scenes. Uh, and to get there, we click on that same menu at the top. And then this time, instead of automations, we're going to click on scenes. And there you see in the list, the second one down is my goodbye scene. And in that scene, uh, you'll see that I have a uh, smart home monitor set up so that I can use that status in third party apps. And that's probably a subject for a future video. But the one I want to reference is the second action is that the echo guard switch is turned off. Okay. And then I change my location to the, the away mode. So on the goodbye routine, I'm triggering the switch off. And I have a similar uh, routine set up for I'm back. So in that scene, you see in the first entry, I turn the echo guard switch on. Uh, so it sounds counterintuitive, but uh, that's the way it's set up in the routine. So let's jump on over to the routine. Okay, let's go on into our Miss A app, and I'll show you how to get these routines set up. So the first place you want to go is to the lower right hand corner. You're going to see three lines where it says more underneath. We'll click on that and then let's go ahead and find routines in the list and click on routines. All right. I have already set these two routines up. You see I have echo guard away and echo guard home. We're going to replicate those so you'll see how they get set up. So to do that, we're going to hit the plus sign at the top. We're going to enter a routine name. Let's just call this, uh, let's see, we'll say guard away. Oops, I better spell guard, right? Okay, and then we hit next at the top. When this happens, now here's where we want to go into our smart home and look for that virtual echo switch. There you see at the top of the list, echo guard switch. Click on that. And we'll leave that on close and hit next. So when the echo guard switch closes, then we want to perform an action. So the action we want to perform is we want to find echo guard in the list. So click on guard. And it says Miss A will set guard to away. So it's important to note here that you can only set Miss A to away. There's no provision in here to change uh, Miss A guard to home. So keep that in mind. We'll have to do a different routine to turn off Echo Guard whenever we arrive home. So let's save this. So that routine is saved and it's in the list. Let's add another routine for when we return home. So this is, as you remember, in the app, in the SmartThings app, when any one member returns home and we want to turn that switch to open and uh, that will trigger this next routine. So let's add the routine and we're going to call this uh, guard home. So we're going to add that name. Hit uh, done, hit next. And when this happens, again, we're going to go into our smart home. We're going to select that echo guard switch you see at the top of the list. And this time we're going to say when that contact sensor opens, hit next. All right, now it's simply a matter of adding a new action. So to get echo guard to turn off, we're basically going to use a command and that's at the bottom of the list. We're going to select custom and it says enter what you would ask Miss A to do. And in there, we're just going to basically say I am home and hit next all right so you see it put that in as a statement at the bottom of the list so the action that's it's that's going to occur is that it's basically going to tell the miss a device that I have arrived home 
and that will trigger Miss A Guard off. The last thing we need to do is choose a device that's going to confirm that uh, Miss A Guard is turned off. And since I don't want to disrupt our kitchen Echo Dot, which is playing music, I'm going to have this announced on our family room Echo Dot. So I selected that, and it's just a matter of saving. All right, so if you go down the list there, <clears throat> Guard Away and Guard a Home are in the list. So let's go over to the Smart Things app, and we'll test this out. So I'm going to close that. Uh, let's go into the new Smart Things app. Okay, I'm going to go up and into automations, or actually scenes, and I'm going to run this uh, I'm back and goodbye scenes so that we can test the device. And uh, so here we're going to watch the echo device to see if it goes into guard mode. And of course the guard mode is signified by the circling white circle. And then after I click on the I'm back, that will change that switch, that echo guard switch, uh, which should trigger the next routine, turning echo guard off, and that should be confirmed by the echo device. So let's go ahead and run goodbye. Okay, so you see that my security guard is activated and Alexa started guarding the home is confirmed that it's in guard mode, signified by the circling white circle. All right now let's do I'm back. Okay, the home is disarmed. Okay, I'll stop guarding now. All right, so that's working just fine. So hopefully you found this uh, video helpful. And uh, if you did, I would certainly appreciate it if you could give the video a like. That would help my channel tremendously. And if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, please consider doing so. Hey, thanks for watching today. I really enjoyed having you. We'll see you next time, and God bless.